Hi, this is Doug and Cindy with Elder Law Practice 5 Cast. Thanks for joining in today. We're taking your questions. Keep on submitting them. Thank you. And the first one we've got here is, when I run out of money, will the nursing home take my home? Okay, so let's put this in context. Let's say my mom's in the nursing home, right. and she has spent down all of her money, like they told her to do, and no more money left. But the nursing home wants to be paid again every month. So what happens? Every month they want to be paid. Every month. What happens when mom runs out of money? Well, you know, when you were working, you, you they held money out of your check every every payday. Some of that money went into a fund to help fund programs like this. This one in particular was set up to ensure that you would have money to help pay for your long-term care. It is the long-term care benefit under the Medicaid program. So if you run out of money, yes, there is help to pay for your nursing home care. Now, there may be a problem if you've given something away. So if you've given something away, there may be a transfer, and we've talked about that in other videos, which means a period of time that Medicaid won't pay. But let's say, for the sake of simplicity, mom's in a nursing home, she spent all of her money down, all she has left is a home. Now the home, uh, there's a few what we call exempt assets, and the home's one of them. Exempt just means we can just like park it over here for now, and pretend we don't have it. Mom can keep her home, uh, one car, prepaid burial, uh, stuff inside the home. And so the home is a, can be an exempt asset and mom can sign a little document called intent to return home because she thinks, you know, I may get better and go back home. So I wanna keep my home, I've lived there all my life, I wanna keep it, I intend to return home. They let her keep it, just park it over here. But while mom's in a nursing home, let's say she applies for Medicaid and gets Medicaid, and now Medicaid's starting to pay the nursing home bill. But they, they want money. Yeah. They don't want your home. They want money each right. month. But the home is still in her name. Medicaid each month is paying for her care. What they're doing is keeping a tab on that. So they will put a lien on her house. When mom dies, the house goes through probate. Department of Human Services wants to be paid back that money that so they spend on her care. Yeah, so let's say mom dies and you don't need her house. You're going to sell her house. So since it was in her name, you probate her will. Maybe she left the house to you. She said, I want to leave the house to you in my will. Well, you um, probate the will. In the probate process, DHS's lien shows up. And so they have the lien on the house and you get a chance to sell it to some third party. And you go to closing and at the closing table, here's DHS's lien, DHS Department of Human Services that administers the Medicaid program. And it says, um, hey, while your mom was in a nursing home, we paid this amount of money out for her care. We get paid first out of the proceeds of the sale. So the buyer buys the house and they start to hand you the check, but they say, oops, there's a lien on it. Now it goes to the state. This is a process called recoupment, recoupment. Now, do they recoup every time? No. Can they recoup every time? Yes. Will they recoup in your situation? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have, to, you have to plan that it's probably gonna happen. It seems like it's happening more these days the state may recoup on the house to recover money that they've paid out for mom's nursing home care through the Medicaid program while she was in the nursing home and while they were paying her monthly nursing home expenses. The good news is you can avoid that, um, but that's a topic for another time because that'd take another five minutes. Yeah, with a little so. bit of proper planning, you can sometimes avoid this and it's good to look at ways you can avoid it to protect the house if that's what mom wants to do. So. I think that's it for this five cast today. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great week. Thank you for being a caregiver for your loved one. You're making a huge difference in their life. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, click on the subscribe button to subscribe to this channel, and click on that little notification bell to be notified the next time we do a video.
And if you want to interact with us, check out the description below and leave us a comment and let us know what legal or caregiver topics you'd like to hear about.